Yo, this is 409 and the Coffee Maker. Before I keep talking, the reason why I sound weird is because I got an expander in. I'm getting braces. I'm excited. I know it's cool. But it's kind of lame how it makes me sound like a nerd. But anyways. So this song is tuned to like D flat and some uh, bullshit I explained in another video. It's called like, you know, shit to know to play Green Day, something like that. I don't know, Green Day tips or some bullshit like that. Anyways. So the song, is gonna, the song is gonna start off with the verse that goes like this. So it's gonna start off using a power chord, a D power chord. So it's gonna be on the fifth fret of the A, seven on the D, and seven on the G. And we're gonna strum it twice, and down up. And then we're gonna hit a power chord, an A power chord, starting on the five of the E, then seven on the A and seven on the D. So, so we're gonna, and then we're gonna move up here, which is just another power chord. I don't know the name of it, but it's on the four of the E, then the six on the D, I mean six on the A and six on the D. So twice, once, and that's also once. I mean, I did upstroke that time, but it doesn't really matter. I, I'm used to just doing, you know, upstroke. But anyway, so that's what we got so far. And then we're gonna come back and do it tw two times on the A, like that. So let's call that like one, and then we gotta do that four times, it's like this. And that's the intro of the song. Now the verse is going to go like this. This is a new power chord right here. It's a G power chord. So that's just going to be uh, 3 on the E. And then 5 on the A. And 5 on the D. And we're just going to be strumming between these two for the verse. We're going to do it 8 times. So let's say this is 1. That's one and this is two. But we're gonna do that eight times in a row. Anyways, so the pattern, um, I'm gonna slow it down so that you can like mimic me, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter because sometimes he changes it live anyways, because I try to watch a bunch of videos live to see. But anyways, so I'm gonna slow it down. I kind of switched it up that second time, my bad. I'm going to do it a little faster now. Now I'm going to do up the speed. slow anyways um let me refer back to the book i wrote in. so yeah after that verse then we're gonna do a chorus and so the chorus goes like this crap i fucked up the chorus so we're going to start off by strumming a d power chord like this and then we're going to do the same power same pattern on an a power chord and let's say that's one we're going to do that three times so
I fucking lost track, my bad. But anyways, after the third time, so... That fourth time, we're gonna go over here. Which is an E power chord. So that's gonna be seven on the A, nine on the D, and nine on the G. So... And then we're gonna do that all over again because we're doing we're gonna do that twice. So anyways, after that chorus, we're gonna do the intro four times again. And then we're gonna do the verse eight times again. again and then after the chorus we're going to do the intro four times again And then we're gonna do this um, bridge, which is pretty easy. It's just so that's just um, I'm hitting the A power chord two times. It doesn't matter if it's down stroke or down up. I guess you could do whatever you want. Anyways, so two times on the, on the A, and then the G power chord is two times. Back to the A chord. And we're gonna do that, um, I think six times, uh, or eight, I forgot. I wrote down six times, but the last time I was trying to play along with the song, I think I counted to eight, but I, I forgot, I don't know, I fucking know. Anyways, you're just gonna, um, so if I say this is, that's one, so do that six or eight more times. I don't know what else to do. Anyways, after that comes the solo. And the solo is pretty, it's actually pretty fucking easy. And I'm gonna teach you the rhythm real quick first, so it's um, pretty easy too. The rhythm is just the intro, uh, ver or the intro riff played eight times, so. Let me do four more times, obviously, but, so that's just the rhythm. And now the solo's gonna go like this. It's pretty easy, so um, so yeah, we're gonna start off doing um, bend on the twelve of the G, so just bend upwards, and then like kind of do a double stop on the B and high E string on the tenth fret of the B and high E. So that's a double stop. We're not gonna actually just hit both at the same time. We're gonna strum the the ten on B. We're gonna pick ten on B, and then ten on high E after. So we're gonna go like this. It's a pretty standard, you know, blues lick or whatever the fuck. Anyways, we're gonna do that 10 times, so. Okay, I know I finished the whole solo, but if you were paying attention and counting, you notice that I did it 10 times right here. And on the 10th time, you are on the 10th time, you're also going to notice that I went like, which is pretty simple. So I do the bend on 12 of G and then I hit, you know, 10 on B and then 10 on high E. And then I come back to the 10 on B because normally I just go and then just repeat, you know, 10 times. But anyways, yeah, on the 10th time, you're going to go. And then you're going to go like. Which is pretty easy. So this is just, um, I think it's called like an oblique bend or obelisk bend or something like that. So that's just going to be the 12 on G. I have my middle finger 12 on G and then my ring finger on 13 on B. 
and we're gonna pick those both at the same time but we're gonna bend 12 on G upwards but you notice that I'm still keeping my 13 on B and I'm keeping it still so like this see I'm picking both but bending one anyways so we're gonna do that three times upwards like this and then we're gonna release a bit and we're gonna do that a fourth time but you're gonna then release and make it like really noticeable like that see because the first three times it's not like see like that and then after that you're gonna hit 10 on the G twice and then hit 12 on the uh, D like that so I'll play it slow there And then after you hit that um, 12 on the D, you're gonna hit it a second time, come back to 10 on the G, and then um, hit 12 on the G, but when you hit 12, you're gonna pull, you're gonna bend up, and you're gonna do that same thing. You know, you're gonna do it two times, and you're gonna do it a third time too, but when you do that third time, you're just gonna stop at the 10 on the B. So the back up, we're going to go like that. So from the beginning, we're going to go like this. I'm going to play it slowly. After that, then you're gonna go like this, which is pretty simple. So you're just gonna hit 13 on the high E and pull off to 10. And then you're gonna hit 13 on the B and pull off to 10 on the B. And then hit 13 on the B again, but when you hit 13, bend. I do a big bend with some vibrato, you know? Anyway, so that's the whole solo. I'm gonna play it again. Anyways, after that, then comes another chorus. And then after that chorus, then comes the intro that you're going to do four times. And then um, after that, then we're going to do kind of like the bridge again but it's gonna be a little different and we're only gonna do it four times. So we're gonna go like this. See on that fourth time, on that last time, but you're not gonna do it, this, like, you're just gonna stop it. But anyway, so what that is, is we're gonna hit the A power chord twice. And then I'm gonna like remove my fingers, but my pinky, is still hitting the um or still on the seven of the d so after we hit that a power chord twice you know take off your fingers but my pinky is still on the seven on the d and then i'm going to use my ring finger to hit the four on the a so i have my ring finger i mean i have my index finger on the four on the a and then i have my pinky on the seven on the d and i'm going to strum that and then I'm gonna move my index finger to the five on the A. And I'm gonna strum that, and I'm gonna go back to four. And my pinky's still on um, seven on the D the whole time. So like this.
see like that, so. And then you're gonna come over and do the same thing over here. So that's just gonna be with your index finger on the uh, two, then three, back to two on the A. And your pinky is gonna stay on the five of the D. So. Anyways, yep, that's the song. Bye bye.